good morning to all students in this video we will understand the question answer of the chapter respiration in organism question answer differentiate between the following aerobic and anaerobic respiration breathing and respiration let's start aerobic respiration anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration is always take place in presence of oxygen while anaerobic respiration is always take place in absence of oxygen end products are co2 and water that is h2o end products are co2 and alcohol in case of anaerobic respiration when the food break down it break down into carbon dioxide and water and in case of anaerobic respiration when food break down it break down into carbon dioxide and alcohol produce a large amount of energy when food break down it produces large amount of energy the energy release is less when compared to aerobic respiration in anaerobic respiration energy is produced but it is less than that of aerobic respiration it occur in plants and animals and it occur in yeast and some bacteria and aerobic respiration occurs in microorganisms like yeast and bacteria let's move towards another difference breathing and respiration breathing is a physical process respiration is a biochemical process breathing involves the process of inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide respiration is a process of breaking down of glucose to produce energy which is then used by cells to carry out cellular function basically breathing is a intake of oxygen and release of carbon dioxide on the other hand respiration is the process of breakdown of glucose or the food to produce energy and then that energy is utilized by each part of the body to carry out the different functions now breathing basically take place through the lungs while the respiration take place in the cells there is no production of energy in this process energy is produced and released in the form of atp in breathing no energy is released while in case of respiration huge amount of energy is released which help to carry out different processes now let's move towards another question why do muscle cells respire anaerobically our muscle cells respire anaerobically but only for a short time during heavy exercise fast running cycling walking for many hours or heavy weight lifting the demand for energy is high but the supply of oxygen to produce the energy is limited thus anaerobic respiration take place in the muscles to fulfill the demand of energy our muscle cells respire anaerobically means they respire in absence of oxygen and this happen for only short period of time during the physical exercise we need large amount of energy but the amount which is present is very less in order to fulfill the requirement of energy the muscle cells respire anaerobically to produce large amount of energy so in case of this the food break down in absence of oxygen and it produce lactic acid plus energy and this energy is further utilized to fulfill the demand of the body now let's move towards another question name the respiratory organ of human beings the respiratory organs of human beings are nose pharynx larynx trachea bronchi and the lungs the other question is how do insects breathe the insects have minute pores on the side of their body these pores are called spiracle they open into fine branching air tubes called trachea oxygen rich air rushes through spiracles into tracheal tube diffuses into body tissue and reaches every cell of the body similarly carbon dioxide from the cell goes into tracheal tube and moves out through spiracles in insects the process of respiration or breathing it's basically take place through the 
very small pores and we call them spiracles. These are small small pores present on the body and these are known as spiracles. Through spiracles the air enter and these spiracles are connected to the trachea. This is trachea. This is a pathway. This is a fine branching tube and from the spiracles this is opening which is called spiracle. This is trachea. From there the oxygen enters and from trachea it transport to rest part of the body and from trachea the carbon dioxide come outside the body so this is the whole diagram how insects breathe these are the spiracles and this is opening spiracle oxygen enter this is trachea and this transport oxygen to all parts and from same path the carbon dioxide come out the other question is how do earthworm breed earthworm breed through their skin the skin of an earthworm is moist and slimy and gaseous exchange easily pass through it so the process of breathing in earthworm is basically take place through the skin how do fish breathe underwater Fish breathe through special organs called gills. Gills are projection of the skin. These gills are richly supplied with blood vessel. Water enter the mouth is forced to flow over gills. Dissolved oxygen is taken up by the tiny blood vessel while carbon dioxide from the blood diffuses out into the water. So fish basically breathe through the gills these are the gills which are present here these are the projection of skin and they are richly supplied with the blood vessel when the water enter into the mouth this is the water is entering into the mouth these are the gills they absorb the dissolved oxygen and transport to rest part of the body while the carbon dioxide come out from the body so the fish breathe through the gills so this is all about this topic thank you students